He is uh, quick with words, slick in style and has been a controversial foreign minister. And 31-year-old Sebastian Kurz will now break a record of sorts by becoming the world's youngest man to head a government. His Conservative People's Party of Austria will form the next government along the far-right Freedom Party, which is back in politics after more than a decade. What does the emergence of this constellation hold? Senior foreign editor Padma Rao reports. At 24, he was a speed-loving youngster dashing through Austria's capital Vienna in an SUV, beautiful young women by his side. At 28, and already the foreign minister in a coalition with social democrats, he was holding his own at the UN General Assembly, underlining the evils of radical Islamists. At 31, and barely seven years after he abandoned his pursuance of a law degree, Sebastian Kurz is set to be Austria's next chancellor. And sharing the government with his Conservative People's Party will be the far-right Freedom Party of Austria, the very constellation that Kurz stole his tirade against refugees from, a key formula that helped him win the October election. Move over, Canadian PM Justin Trudeau, Austria has just elected the youngest head of government in the world. Austria has broken another world record. It will be the first European country to have a coalition in which the far right is represented. The deputy chancellor will be the far right FPO's Heinz Christian Strache. But if the election campaign and the future chancellor Sebastian Kurz's preparatory run up is anything to go by, there is little that distinguishes the conservatives from their far right coalition partners. Both campaigned successfully for curbing refugees from entering Europe and for lowering the allowance for refugees. Since 2015, tens of thousands of Syrian refugees have been streaming into Europe. The new chancellor to be, Sebastian Kurz, swiftly took the first step. He shut down the entry point for the land route from Turkey via the Balkans into Austria. Kurz presented a 50-point plan for the integration of refugees. And a year later, he proposed a new Islam law that prohibits mosques from foreign funding and regulates which verses of the Quran may be taught and recited in Austria. The law was passed in 2015. The young man with the gelled hair and fitted suits whom the Austrians refer to as Wunderwutzi or Wizkid already registered an early success. He has managed to extricate a promise from his anti-EU right-wing coalition partner to not hold a referendum to exit the European Union. But even as Foreign Minister Sebastian Kurz had managed to attract attention. In early 2014, he had hosted several rounds of negotiations on the Iran nuclear deal reaffirming Austria's position as an ideal and neutral venue for dialogue. The deal or the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action was signed by Iran, the P5 of the Security Council and the European Union. Some months later, the energetic young man hosted another meeting of 30 foreign ministers, including his Russian and Ukrainian counterparts, to negotiate a solution to the Ukraine crisis. But Austria was the country of Adolf Hitler's birth. Its outgoing social democrat government has deep roots in especially Austrian cities. Its media too has been traditionally left-leaning. Subsequently, Sebastian Kurz's decision to join hands with the far right has unleashed gloom and pessimism in most commentators. But they may be in for a few surprises. Under him, Sebastian Kurz's Conservative People's Party has undergone a complete overhaul, right down to the party color black which Kurz swapped for a more vibrant turquoise. Kurz has promised tax cuts up to 14 billion euros. He has also promised to stand for, quote, freedom, individual responsibility and solidarity, unquote. In other words, for less governance and more business. And that, in today's protectionist world, may not be such a bad thing for the tiny Alpine country's economy, which has traditionally been overshadowed by its big brother, neighbor, and the European Union's biggest superpower, Germany. Padma Rao, Vion.